So hello, welcome all of you again. So with respect to the batch talking, what we are discussing. So here in this particular video, I will be showing you a step-by-step -step, uh, tutorial or the instructions where you can go ahead for performing the uh, batch talking using Autodoc Vina. And definitely we are here using the Perl script. So that is all we are going to see now. So first, uh, first of all, if you remember that in my previous video, I have mentioned that these are the particular different file formats which should be there in your one of the folder. Uh, by giving a re, you can rename as a batch docking or any of the name you're interested and then these are the different seven files should be there okay so after that what we have to do is nothing but you have to go in the your uh, cmd command form and from there you have to just type a command like a perl space p okay so this is a pearl uh, this is the command which is needed uh, it will show you that the pearl is there on your system or not so for example if you get an error that pearl is not there on your system so what you have to do is nothing but again the link i will be sharing to you where you will be able to download the pearl on your system okay so this is the pearl um, editor link where you can download the pearl on your system so once it done the installation so in the command prompt to check that the pearl has been available or not so you can just type a command like a pearl dash v and then it will show you that which per pearl version is there on your system and it is uh, give you a different information that just visit the home page regarding that so if you get this kind of output so definitely the pearl is there on your system okay so what we have to do with next step okay so next step is very simple you have to just change your directory where exactly this folder is available okay so this folder is there in my c and then directly in my one of the folder name which is called as a docking underscore batch so you have to go in your command room and just paste that particular thing and then enter so now the directory has changed okay once the directory has changed then you have to write the command which is over here okay so I have previously copied this so if you remember that i have mentioned uh, to you that you need a command like vina okay so vina underscore split so what is the role of that so here you all can see this one i will just make a full screen and uh, i'm just zooming this thing okay so that you all can see so here you have to write a command like vina underscore split dot exe if you remember that this is the same uh, file this is there in on a particular folder fine so this we are calling over here in the cmd command so vina underscore split dot exe then dash dash input okay what is your input ligand file which should be in the pdb qt format because if you remember that all the particular might be if you have hundreds of the ligands or the 200 of ligands okay so we have saved in the pdbqt all ligands in the one file format so how to extract and split the particular individual file so that it will just perform the docking step by using a single command okay so here you can see that if you just run this if you remember that this is the same name of file which is there okay now you can see this one ligand okay which is in the pdbqt so I will just remove this. Okay, so according to the previous thing, I have uh, seven files with me in total. So then I have Vina underscore split. So I'm using that particular command over here. And then my input ligand is small l ligand.pdbqt. If you see that, exactly the same thing. Okay, and then what I supposed to do? I should have to run this. So once I run, so I will be getting an output okay so here you will not get exactly what you need so you have to just revisit on your folder so now you all can see that on my system i have the this one okay so i have the particular yeah so i have the particular this one ligands which get split so I have 17 ligands with me uh, with respect to the one PDBQT which I have shared. Okay, so in total I have 17 
drugs or the smiles or the molecules with me so it has splits all the particular molecules which are there in my entire data set so if you have hundreds so you will get hundreds of lists from here the, again it is in the pdbqt format so i will just mention name uh, detail okay so i just click on detail so i got that this all are in the pdbqt format so what is the next step okay so next step what you have to do is nothing but you have to just write a command which is over here okay so directory so dir is nothing but the directory okay so directory where you definitely the data is available slash b and then greater than sign you have to take and just write ligand.txt so why we have to do this so you have to create one file over here new and then text file and just rename as ligand okay why to do this because it will just read the ligands from this file so right now you can see that there is nothing over there in my txt file of ligand it's an empty file okay so i'm going to close this now it's a zero kb so next what you have to do you have to run the command which is over here okay once you run that so you have to click on enter and once you click on enter you have to now proceed to further command so that i'm going to show you right now so here as i mentioned one command like a directory slash b greater than ligand.txt which we have done right now fine so this is an empty okay so once you do that uh, you have to run this particular command and after running the command you will find that here the txt file if you open you will get the entire list of pdbqt what you have to do you have to just remove all the particular data which has pasted over here that vina exe it has just pasted what are the files are there on your folder so I'm, I'm just deleting all the things i'm just keeping only the pdbqt files of the ligands which i need for the docking study fine and you have to just save this and you have to close now so right now what we have is nothing but all the pdbqt files which are over there in a single file so that it can take this txt file and it will just perform the docking accordingly fine so right now this are there so right now once i do this so i have this 25 files because i have this many ligands with me okay so the next command what you have to do is nothing but you have to write a command like a pearl and then we have to use the script file okay this one so you have to just copy this uh, rename copy okay and just paste in the command so i'm just pasting now okay so what is what is the next command pearl vina underscore windows dot pl so because it need for the uh docking okay patch docking so now it's asking us which is the ligand file so my ligand file is this one true so ligand ligand dot txt so just remember that in txt we have the pdbqt so it will take that particular thing so i'm going to just click on enter so now you all can see that all the pdbqt files has recognized over here okay so it, i have how many pdbqt with me i have 17 and it has proceed now for docking can you see all of you so this is for the first it's done then for second ligand third so according to that it's just starting to talk with my all the compounds which are there with me right now for docking study using a batch okay so definitely for 100 molecules it might take uh, 15 minutes on your cpu but if you are just working on the server or the gpu so it will just done within a few minutes okay so if you have even 200 molecules uh you can just uh, on and then you want to work on your cpu then it will take an around around the what you can say as the 10 to 15 minutes okay so definitely this is how a very good steps which you can all rep for a very simple and easy steps where uh 
I have shown you all of you that how exactly you can perform the batch docking uh, by going with the step by step uh, in the form of giving the PDBQT file of the ligand and then the particular PDBQT file of protein. And there should be one file which is regarding the config, which is showing about the X, Y, Z coordinates. And definitely after that, you need the particular uh, different files which is needed to perform the docking study. And then you will get the output, which is right now, which is going on. So I'm on the ligand link number 14, which I'm getting the docking score over here with RMSD uh, value. Okay. So once it's done, definitely we will get a log files, output.log files. So that also I'm going to show you what exactly you will get in your folders. Okay. So once it's done, the output log uh, output file is there. So that you can visualize in the PyMol, uh, a Vivo, molecular Vivo, where you will get the ligand and the interactions. So definitely that video I will be again soon uploading with my YouTube channel. So you can even stay tuned for the same. And uh, yeah, so this kind of uh, a bulk docking or the huge docking, you can just perform uh, using such kind of things. Okay, so you can see now the this it is generating the output for entire uh, things. Okay, so definitely for the every molecules based on the speed of your system and then uh, how many molecules you are providing, it will give you an output. So yeah, it's done now. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back. So here you all can see now. So in my every ligand, I'm getting the log files. Okay. So what you have to do is nothing but you can refer this ligand dot underscore uh, ligand zero one, and you can just import in the pymol with your protein. Okay. And then definitely you will get a very good uh, ligand interactions over there. So definitely that I will be showing you in the next video. And here you all can see that I got output files uh, with the log ones. If I just want to quickly show you a text file, can you see this? Log files are in the text file. You have just opened in the text file. So I'm getting the exactly the same thing, which I got my in my CMD command pro. The scores are over there. So I got the 10 poses because we have mentioned in our config file, if you just remember this, Okay, so 10 poses. I'm interested in the 10. You can just convert into the 20, 15, how many poses you need. Uh, okay, so these are the things what you can get. So this is how you can get the docking output with your entire batch docking using Autodoc Bina by the help of Perl script. So I hope that you understand the video uh, because I have just explained the simpler way. Uh, if anybody have any query, they can just drop uh, their comments and then definitely um, you can even go ahead by performing a batch talking with your any target of your interest and definitely this is how you can do. So I hope that you understand the video. Uh, any comments you want to just mention, definitely you can drop that. And then the related files, the related video links uh, for your reference that all I'm going to share in this video. Okay, so thank you.